Shalom Aleichem, my dear brothers and sisters. Today I want to talk to you about Prophet Isaiah, in particular chapter 9, verse 6. Uh, some Christians have been claiming that this verse supports uh, the Trinity. So I'm going to read this um, verse from the, uh, from the Christian uh, translation. And then I'm going to be talking about it. So here's what it says. Now this is I'm reading from the Christian uh, translation. The new, the new International Version. And the verse says, For to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So that's what the Christian Bible says. Now, in order to rebuke this, I'll start with something simple. I'll start with um, going to Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 33 and verse 15 and here's what Jeremiah uh, chapter 33 verse 15 says in those days at that time I will cause a sprout of righteousness to sprout forth for David and he will administer justice and righteousness in the land in those days Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell in security. And this is what people will call it, meaning the, called Jerusalem. Hashem is our righteousness. I mean, I'm sorry, it says Hashem is our righteous one. So, from this verse, it seems that there shouldn't be a trinity, there should be a quatrinity, if that's the case, because here we see Jerusalem is called God is our is the righteous one the name of Jerusalem so if they're making a claim for Trinity they should include Jerusalem to be part of God part of Trinity the city itself and obviously they're not gonna do this just because Jerusalem is called God is our righteousness or God is the righteous one that means that this city of Jerusalem is what uh, what brings forth the belief that uh, God is the righteous one. That's the point of this verse. Now going back to um, to Isaiah, and I mentioned that this was the Christian uh, reading of the verse. And so if you, even if you go by the Christian reading of the verse, then clearly uh, you cannot claim that this supports Trinity just because a certain individual is called that, you know, awesome father or God everlasting God it means that this person brought the belief of God into this world and he's goal called by that name you know my son's name is Emmanuel which means God is with us so that does that mean that my son is part of the Trinity you know it says his name is God is with us so therefore maybe he's God no you know names are as one thing uh, uh, you know, the concept of God is completely different. But in reality, these verses are actually really talking about a king that lived in the ancient days. His name was uh, Hiskiahu, King Hiskiahu. And um, I'm going to read you the Jewish translation of the verse, which is actually slightly different. And um, and therefore it's going to be less uh, confusing, you know, if you read uh, this verse. And here's what how it reads in the Jewish uh, translation of the of the Tanakh, verse five. It's actually in the Jewish version. It starts with verse five. I'm not sure exactly how when they translate it, they divided the chapters maybe differently. I'm not sure, but here's what it says: For a child has been born to us, a son. Has been given to us and the dominion will rest on his shoulders the wondrous advisor mighty God eternal father called his name Sar Shalom Prince of Peace so the verse is actually saying that God will, will call this child the Prince of Peace because this king his who brought peace throughout the land 
And he lived many hundreds of years before Jesus. So Isaiah was talking about this child, the, the king, his kiahu, peace be upon him. So according to the Jewish translation, actually, God is the one who's going to be calling his, uh, this uh, child as the prince of peace. It's not that the child is going to be called the prince of uh, the mighty father or God himself. No, it's God is calling this child the prince of peace. So I hope um, that explains it. Please, if uh, you have any further questions of, or if I didn't make it clear enough, please uh, comment. And I will try to maybe, uh, you know, re-record the video more clearly. Thank you for watching.